Today I'm going to be showing you how to coat a cake in sugar paste. I will be using spacers to ensure an even thickness. You could use guide rings and they fit on the ends of the rolling pin. We also have a small set which would go on the ends of a small rolling pin if you're doing very small work. I'm going to be using spacers. They come in a set of two. We can use them to a thicker depth or over the other way which gives a thinner depth for the sugar paste. I'm going to be using them this way. The sugar paste that I'm going to be using is uncoloured which means it has no whitener added to it and this enables it to take the colour better so you get a truer colour. You have to knead your sugar paste ready and then start to roll it out. I've got plenty of icing sugar underneath to stop it from sticking to the board. Place my rolling pin on top and I'm rolling forward and back and each time I'm turning the paste, lifting it so that it's not stuck to the surface of the table or board. Rolling it out, it will soon start to lean on my spacers so that it will not roll any thinner than the spacers. Just moving these in slightly so that my rolling pin is rolling on the spacers. Once it's on the spacers you can actually hear it so that you know that it's level with the spacers and it's not going to roll any thinner. You also need to make sure that you've rolled your paste large enough for your cake. I've noticed that I've got a couple little air bubbles to one side so I'm going to take the pin tool scriber and push it in at an angle just to make a little hole which will then disperse the air bubbles. Just pierce them and that gets rid of any air bubbles. So that I don't get a line across my icing when lifting it with the rolling pin, I'm going to use another set of spacers and they just lock into each other. And this gives me the height so that I can place my rolling pin down and then lift my icing over and lift this over my cake. I'm now lifting the icing over my cake and I'm just going to ease it away at the bottom and taking my hand gently bring the icing in. If there's any pleats or fans just ease them away from the cake and use your hand to bring this in. Going around just easing it away. I'm now going to use the smoother and I'm holding it with the flat side down and I'm going to place it next to my cake, bringing it very small steps, just pressing so that I create an angle at the bottom. All the way around and this gives me a good line for cutting off the excess paste. I'm going to take the angled palette knife and place it against that line that I've created at the bottom. Small movements all the way around to cut off. This will give me a clean cut with a nice angle at the bottom of my cake. Going all the way around, taking away any excess. I'm now ready to use the smoothers to smooth my cake. I'm going to be using two smoothers, a smoother polisher and a straight edged smoother which has got a straight edge on one side of it. I'm going to smooth around with my straight edge smoother and holding it in place with the smoother polisher I'm pushing in and easing it round the cake so that it pushes the sugar paste onto the surface of the cake and using my smoother polisher to go over the top to get a nice smooth finish to the top of my cake. Today I used a set of spacers, an angled tapered palette knife, scribe tool, 
rolling pin, icing sugar shaker and two smoothers.